Warning, Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. I was like, I don't trust these. Roll, roll for it. Black or red on your black and red die. Oh, it's red. Still red? Yeah. I'm so do you want me to go through black or do you want to go through red? Let's go through red. Okay, we're going through red. I'm going to walk. He's coming with us. Okay. So it's a five foot wide rough hewn tunnel. And then you crawl through for a while and it seems to come to a dead end. Oh. Well, let's go back. Unless we could find a door. What's your passive? 24. Mine's 13. I'm, well, who went through the door? All of us, I think. Okay, who's in the lead? Who's in the lead? Probably not me, I'm back. Uh. Toy guy. No, fuck you. Well, Plus, you, you got the highest fuck perception. So? What's all the squishies? It makes sense. Please? Yeah, but you're not you're not really likely to get hit by a dude. You're likely to get hit by a trap, which you can avoid. Th that gargoyle earlier... Like you said, it was, you wrong. it was a dude. Yeah. You were like... You're well, like, the gargoyle went after him first. Yeah. You can avoid traps. Clearly not. The gargoyle wasn't a trap, it was a creature that... Okay, you've already you've already decided that you went through. I'm just asking who's up front. We've well, also got the magic seeing eye. So. Yeah, I know. So, you should be in the front. What's going in? <laughs> You're coming with us. You can't make me. <laughs> Actually, we could. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah. I really don't want to waste a fifth level spell, but I totally will do it. Well, I'm not in the front. That that's yeah. Can you just arbitrarily assume one of them? Okay, fine. Seventeen. Kyle, you find a secret door in the bottom. So you didn't need me. Yes, we do. And I assume you're just gonna open it. Yeah. Uh, it sort of pops you open in the ceiling. Right about where the number 13 is. And I'm crushing everything behind me as I go. And I have a picture to give you guys. Yeah. We like pictures, don't we, Mr. Nice DM? Yes. Yes. Can they pop up? One of them is. I like pictures when I can see. So we got three chests. I want three cups. Beyond the secret door is a dusty chamber containing three large chests. The first is made of gold, the second made of silver, and the third made of oak bound with bronze or thick bronze bands. Each is about four feet long, two feet wide, and three feet high. I don't know. Barely leave this to the rope. Oh, me. Yeah. We got chess for the looting. Is not wearing those. Uh, can I uh, uh, want to investigate them? The gold is silver and he wouldn't bronze. Okay, bronze well, chest. put put the other two people in room 13. -na -na -na. So you can just arbitrarily assume left to right gold, silver, bronze. Bands. So, well, I'm gonna just get the silver one. Okay, uh. It's firmly affixed to the floor. And that's about all you can see. It looks like a normal chest. Okay, can I investigate it with a grill? Sure. Well, first of all, let me ask is the minimum of a. Is it 18 or 19? It's not gonna tell you any more than you really know. Damn! Then I wanna check the traps. 
you don't see any hmm. on uh, on the outside of the chest. On the outside, you say? I say. I think these are trapped. You know what, though? I have no idea. But inside is, is bad juju. Can you detect magic? Yeah. Can you do that? I don't think there's magic. I can. I'll, I'll totally do it if you really want. I'll detect magic. Okay. Do I detect any magic shit in these chests? You totally do. Oh wow, I totally detect magic. I guess I was fucking wrong. Uh, the silver chest is radiating magic. Is it like good magic? Actually, it's got that well you, you can't really tell. Um, the silver chest and the bronze chest are just fucking lousy with magic. Like a good Actually, magic. let me see if the gold one is too. Um, All of them are radiating magic. It's all magical as fuck. Just the good kind of magic, the bad kind of magic. Kind uh, of... hey, let me see the book real quick, Kyle, please. The holy shit, my face is gonna explode kind of magic. The holy shit, it's Cheez Its kind of magic. Cheez Its? Cheez Its? Still hungry. <laughs> the gold chest radiates enchantment. And the silver fine. chest radiates abjuration. Uh, I'm sorry, no, hang on. Yeah, the silver chest radiates abjuration, and the wooden chest radiates conjuration. So, what do you guys want to do? Go check the spelling. Okay. I don't like that conjure. Yeah, conjure usually means bad. What do you usually? What do you guys want to do? <gasps> I don't know what abjure is. Well, well Kyle's a wizard, remember. so he can you 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 can read the description, in chapter ten. No, I can't. No, I'm talking Kyle. He can he can teach you the, the ways of the abjuration. Is that like illusions? No. Illusion is no. illusion. No. Um, yeah. It's right there. Oh, thank you. Abjuration isn't it? That's nice. Um, spells protective in nature, though some of them are have aggressive uses. They create magical barriers, um, negative harmful effects, harm trespassers, or banish creatures to other planes of existence. So we'll probably just spell that one. Conjuration. There's something in there. An enchantment. Enchantment. Not that kind of enchantment. Not Yuri Lowenthal. No. Uh -huh. We miss you, Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal. Never forget. Never what happened? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. This is another one where, like David Hader, we just say rest in peace in case by the time we upload the video. No, we just want him to hear us. Maybe he'll pay us a visit. He doesn't know where we are. Well, once he sees the video, we can he can email us. Um, you to spell magic on that the abjuration. So the silver one, okay. yeah, silver was abjuration. Uh, I guess I'll dispel it. Okay. Uh, is it the spell third level or is it is it fourth level or higher? It actually seems like a pretty weak abjuration to you. It's not almost as if. It doesn't seem like a full-fledged spell, really. It just has abjurative properties. It's a So you guys want me to still dispel it, or should we pop this thing open and see what's in it? Mm. Wanna pop it? Yeah, okay. We'll pop it open. I'm gonna so you're gonna pop it before it casts. <laughs> Move it's... where you're gonna be! Which one's silver? Which one am I? Uh, center one. Oh wow, you like teleported all the way Wow, you went so far that way, you ended up right there. Good come, shit, digging. Come be my friend, pal. <laughs> also, by the way, Kyle, uh -huh. your super duper passive perception also tells you that there is a, another secret door in the floor uh, just behind that chest. 
Wait a minute. This is the lens of truth. I can see what's inside the chests. And that no, no, didn't work that way. Damn it! Spells illusion. Uh. If someone casts invisibility on the chest, then yes, you'll be able to see through the chest. Alright, so you open the silver chest. Yes. At the bottom of the chest is sort of a glass box, right? And inside the glass box, resting on a velvet pillow, is a golden ring that you believe was the source of the abjuration you sensed. Am I able to identify this ring? Well, uh, what is the tech magic? Probably, uh, sure. Go ahead and roll our camera. You want me to roll it? Yeah. Does an 18 tell me? 18 tells you it's a ring of protection plus one. Ring of protection plus one. Um, is that like plus one to... Or AC? Let's say it's a ring of plus one AC, sure. Okay. Uh, I guess I go to the Paladin. Unless you want to battle out for it. I don't want it. Doesn't make sense for me to have it. I'll take it. I'm not going to be in the front. Okay. And if I'm in the front, then something's wrong. So, 20 and 22. Who's taking it out of the chest? I'll take it out of the chest. Pew pew! Uh, so it's... Huh. That guy's really good. He's just like... What, what? Do I get to yeah. roll the dodge? Oh, uh, let's it? see. Yes, make a sa dexterity saving throw. Six? Oh, this is going to be fun. So you take three piercing damage, and I need a oh you're you're immune to poison. Not immune. Then I need a Constitution saving throw. Oh, that poison can fuck you. I I think I'm good. Uh, over twenty. Huh. DC's thirty-two. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> so you take uh, a, a few points of damage from a stray dart, and it seems to sting a little bit. Right. It just seems to sting. Heh! Ow, oh wait. Well, that, that's, <laughs> why I, that's why I pulled it out, because I figured it might be poison. That's why I would decide to open up the thing, because I'm dwarven. Got that shit. Um, uh, so enchantment next? Enchantment. Yes. Like, as you sense its magic, you just sort of get flashbacks of when you looked no, into man. the room after he broke down the wall and just saw the statue standing there. Uh, do you want do you want to dispel it first? I kind of want to dispel it, unless you want to open up the chest. Uh, I, I already a dispel. All right, yeah. You can ready a counter spell. I could do that too. Well, counter spell is a reaction. I can just do that. Yo, dispel. Talk about dispel. That needs well, dispel. hang on. Let me look at counter spell before you touch the chest. What time is it? It is one something. It is. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll, after we finish this. Yeah, the counter spell won't help us. Because it I have to interrupt the spell before it's actually like cast. Counter spell just allows me to kind of kill it as it's being just right, sent I out. I guess I'll I'll open the chest. I would just go. Okay. Uh move to move X towards the chest. I think he's already next to it. Okay, as you open the chest, uh you immediately Feel the enchantment magic fade. Instant. And you regret your decision. Uh, see that picture that I hand you with three chests? Turn it over. Yeah! What is it? Snakes. Snakes! Snake? Snake! Do I smack it? Uh, I wonder if it gets a surprise around or not. God damn. Well, is, it just a, is it like a bunch of snakes? Is a snake swarm. Oh, Son God. of a bitch. So, yeah, uh, let's go to initiatives and then we'll call it tonight for Tom. Sound fair, Tom? Yeah. What the fuck happened to my pencil? I'm gonna call it with your pencil. pencil. No. Also, uh, hand me my monster manual, Tom. Huh? You're gonna use it. Thank you, Tom. What'd you get, by the way? 24. Thank you. Lomu. 20. Uh, Lucas. 20. Oh, no, 20. Uh, 15. 
Where's my die? There's my die. It's under my book. That sucks. Bam! Yeah! Doesn't matter. I'm going last. Unless I did very much doubt a swarm of snakes has that decent. Well, it's like one of your initiative. Just don't skin me. No, you gotta do damage. Just don't skin me! I could just try and burning hands it right off the bat. Blight. Well, blights for like a single target. I don't know if swarms work the same way in this as they do in Pathfinder. Uh, no. yes and no. So, uh. What the fuck? Oh shit! I'm not last! Did you be mine initiative? I did. Did you be mine? No, Cronus, you're yeah. first. <laughs> So you, he pops open the lid of the chest and you just see these snakes fucking hissing and snarling and attempting to lunge for him. Okay. You gonna do shit? What the fuck can I do? Shoot at it. I'll do half damage. The most I can do it. It's two. It's better than that. Mom, you also had your dex. The most I can do is what I roll. I don't either. It's 11 on the die. So 16? Oh. Yeah. You hit. 4 plus 8. So 4 damage. Lobo. More better than nothing. Um... Guess I'll burning hands. Uh, I'll let you burning hands, but you will catch him in the cone. Well, if I shoot my cone this way, he'll be just out of it. Yeah, but see the thing. Well, okay, yeah. And it should catch them like full in the face. No problem. Uh, deck save. Oh, yeah, yes. Deck save. Plus four, seven. My head does not save. Very good. Ah, uh, that is seven. Woo, seven. Look at that uneventful damage. Uh, Luca, or no, me, me. So the snakes will begin to lunge forward and slither all over Lucas and attempt to bite. Plus six. Nope. <coughs> yeah, damn it. Uh, back to Cronus. Uh, about me. Oh, that's right. You're after me. I'm sorry. I'm not used to not being last. Uh, Apologies, Bo. Bro. I guess whatever. I'll smash him with my flail. Go for it. While they're on you. Sure. That is a... 14. Totally. That is 6 damage. Mm -hmm. strength. Well, four, that's... Oh, yeah, minus 4. So, 6. Because I don't think they get a. Do, do, do they oh. take half radiant damage? No. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You keep going. Uh, sixteen. Are you wait? Was that six damage already halved? Hmm. Were you well, giving me the full damage or half damage? Uh, well, it was. Just give me the full damage for now because you're doing radiant. Okay. Uh, well then that was just, that was ten. Oh wait. No, I'm no, sorry. Give me the the, the the weapon damage was twelve. Okay, so six. So, uh, take six, and then the radiant was four. Radiant was four. So that'd be a total of seven. Gotcha. So, uh, that is seven strength. And so seven physical? Yeah, and yeah. two radiant. Okay. Lomo, your turn. Doesn't Tom go before me? God damn it, I don't know how to do initiative tonight. Cronus, go. You can stomp on him or something, I don't know. I got that many. That's a 10. 15? Yeah. There actually be more than 15 because you have uh, Dex, right? Your D4 is right there. Where? On the map. Oh, it blended in. 
One. Plus five dex. So. You did three. Now, Lomo. Um. Burning hands. Again. Okay. Uh, this time it is in his space. There's no way to hit the snakes without hitting him. Okay. So, deck save, pal. Seven! Fourteen. Yeah, you can't save either. Uh, that is ten, twelve. Uh, the snakes are incinerated. Uh. It's 150 for everybody. A whole 150 XP, oh boy. Some loser somewhere go to college.